hello, hello. Uh, yes, question about the black and white bandanas. Yes, I did respond. Um, but if you didn't get my response, um, if you could just email me blueivymarbling at gmail.com. Um, sometimes if you go through the website and you're not live and I'm not live, then you might not get the message. So just email me and I can definitely do those black and white bandanas for you. So thanks for messaging me. Hello everybody, I'm Jen and I'm doing a little water marbling here, creating some bandanas. They're uh, 21 by 21 inch silk bandanas, but they're the same size as your regular cotton bandanas. So just doing a little creating here this afternoon. Thought I'd jump on and share while I'm building up the stock on my website. I just thought I could answer any questions you might have. A difference with bandanas and scarves for the purses? Um, just the size. They're, they're the same um, fabric, 100% silk fabric, but the scarves are 14 by 72 inches, so they're long scarves like you see hanging up in the back, and the, the bandanas are smaller, like the size of this tray, so the, these are perfect for, um, for your, to tie on your purse. Oh, thank you, Missy. Oh, hello, Tammy. Um, yes, it's it's a lot of fun to do. It's something that anybody can learn how to do with a little time and patience, for sure. So, um, and you can message me if you want any more information on learning how to do it. Um, yeah, the small scarves are so perfect for tying on your purse, um, in your hair. They're they're super versatile. Let's see, so I'm gonna get started here. I'm gonna try to catch um, your questions as best I can while I'm painting. Um, the bandanas are 28. So please don't hesitate to ask a question a second time if I don't see it, because I'm gonna do my best here to be painting and answering questions at the same time. So, yes, yeah, Sue, no assistant today. He's at work. So, um, yeah, it's a lot different for me to try to do this without him. So I'm trying to get more used to jumping on here by myself. But yes, it's... Um, a lot easier when he's here. Plus, I'd just rather him <laughs> be here. Oh, and thank you. Thank you, Nell. Is this a type of dye I'm using? Um, these are artist quality um, acrylic paints. That is beautiful. Thank you so much. Yeah, this is one of my favorite um, designs. A lot of people ask me <laughs> what my favorites are. This would be one of them. I really like doing flowers. Aw, thank you so much. This is so relaxing to watch. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, of a cherry print. Oh, fun. Oh, care instructions. Um, they can be hand washed. Um, so just like with wool light, 
um, a soft detergent and then just hung to air dry and then uh, they can be ironed afterwards. Since I use heavy body paint, sometimes they get a little stuck in the bottle. I'm gonna do my best to try to catch some of your questions. Oh, you sent the request. Okay, good. I'll definitely watch for that. I'm sorry, I can't see that whole question. Um, maybe ask me that again, okay? Thank you, Joni. And if you have a question and I don't catch it on here, please feel free to email me. It's blueivymarbling at gmail.com. So um, I will definitely respond to you if you email me. So this design is named Sweet Baby Jane. <laughs> it was, uh, first came up with it while doing a live, um, and that's what the viewers named it, which I thought was so fun. What do I mix with the paint? Um, hold on one second. Someone is asking, are the bandanas large enough for cancer patients to use as a head wrap? Um, no, I would not say as a head wrap, the longer scarves, my 14 by 72 inches, those are the ones that people will use for a head wrap. Bandanas, um, they can be tied just, you know, around, just around more like on your forehead or tied in a ponytail. Oh, and somebody asked what I add. I just mostly add water to the paint to thin it down. Once in a while, if I need to, I'll add a little surfactant sweet baby change your cat's name that's awesome i just think that's so fun i wish i could paint and see your questions at the same time but that's why um when i do my lives on mondays and thursdays i've got my husband on here and he's reading the questions. So if you're new here, we go live regularly on Monday and Thursday at 7 Central and he's he's reading and we're both talking while I'm painting. So just regular, um, I mix the um, paints with filtered water and then this tray of water is thickened with a powder sizing called carrageenan. But I always use a uh, filtered water because if your water has any harsh chemicals, it can have an effect. Um, what am I painting? I'm painting, um, it's painting on water and I'm creating silk bandanas right now. So I also do long scarves like you see hanging in the back. Those are silk. Um, I also do leather. Leather turns out beautifully when marbled. So I mostly work on silk, leather, and then um, ceramic ornaments at Christmas time. So those are what I focus on the most, but you can marble all kinds of different things. I actually have some silk fans um, for summertime too. So, oh, thank you, Bernadette. So almost done here. 
just dropping the paints on the water and then there's just a million different ways that the paints can be manipulated on top of the water. For some reason my music stopped. There we go. I just love this design with these colors because it just feels so like summery and just um, kind of light and airy. All right, so I'm ready to lay it down. Oh, how can you purchase silks? I do actually have them available on my website. Um, it's blueivymarbling.com. Oh, Katie, thanks for answering questions for me. So, oh, thank you, Tracy. Um, so I'm about to lay this bandana down. So I've just kind of got it secured as some PVC pipe that's um, in a square, the same size as my tray. You have to lay it down very carefully. Um, once you start and it touches the water, you can't stop or else it will um, mess up the design. So will this be um, in the store? It's gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Yes, this one is available. Um, if you're actually interested in this one, you can uh, message me and purchase this particular one. Um, if you just say Sweet Baby Jane Bandana, then I can send you a link for it. And I'm also, um, yes, this these are 21 by 21. So yes, that's what the purse scarves will be. Um, Oh, and I have about, oh, thanks for the heart. Thank you. Um, I am going to have at least 20 bandanas listed on my site tomorrow, like brand new, all one of a kind. Um, so a big drop tomorrow. Yes, I will make you the, I will make you these 21 by 21. A oh, stunning, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this is one of my favorite designs here. But I can do any color combination and design. So I do have a listing on my site under the scarves and the bandanas for custom if you wanna choose your colors and design but there's also a lot to choose from that are already made. Uh, thank you for the heart. So I like to just get a little bit of color on the edges just to blend it in. Um, they're hand rolled. They're 100% silk. So as soon as the silk touches the water, it instantly sets into the scarf. There you go. And then I just give it a rinse and then I'll let it soak a little bit just to soften up. But I just give it a rinse just to get the excess paint and um, the sizing off of it. So I'll show this one to you here. Again, this is the Sweet Baby Jane design that my viewers named. So I'll try to give you a, a quick look here. It's a little bit harder without a second set of hands. But yeah, you can see how I just rinsed it and it's instantly set. It doesn't smear. 
Oh, oh, Tallery, you're around here. That's awesome. Oh, hi, Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer just got bandanas too, so she knows. So I just let it soak for a little bit, softens it up, and then I hang it to air dry, and then you can iron them. Oh, thank you so much. So now I just need to um, clear or clean off the top of the tray. So, and I'm trying to do the best I can to catch some of your questions while I'm in the middle of doing this. So see, there's not too much left over when I do the bandanas. You love how peaceful this is. Thanks, Rebecca. That's my goal here. Can you wash them in the washing machine? I do not recommend the washing machine. Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Jennifer's helping answer questions. I know Tallery knows a lot of the answers too. Um, what do I do, Lori? Um, I paint on water. This is called Ebru, E-B-R-U, or water marbling. And mostly what I do are create scarves and bandanas. Um, oh yeah, that would be great, Tallery, if you can answer questions. That would be great. So I do this on leather also. I mostly do silk and leather and then some um, ceramics. I do ornaments at Christmas time. So I just have to make sure that there is no paint left on the surface. You can see there's a bunch that's fallen to the bottom, um, but that doesn't affect the next item that I'm gonna paint. So you could see that's pretty clean now so I can move on to the next one. Let's see, I've gotta pull you up on the requests. I have no idea how to do that. <laughs> how do I do that, Tallery? I'm not sure. Let's see. One of these days I'll figure it out interact button see after all this time i still have to i think i got hi lady there you go awesome thank you how are you no no problem at all i'm like i'll jump in for you and oh, maybe i can first time i can <laughs> yeah this i can i can I've be your it. husband and read the questions Oh, that would be wonderful. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I do ship no to the UK. Um, I ship all over. So yeah, this is the first time I've had somebody like on the screen with me helping me answer. So thank you. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm, I'm, in, I'm in your colorful puddle. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Jennifer, I'll figure out how to add you as a moderator too. Where is the hubby? Yes, he is working. He can- It is me today. Me. Yeah, it Taylor is me is today. Gonna help me out. My <laughs> husband works in the evenings. Um, you need to get your mom a gift. Yes, I, I um would love to do that. Okay, so if I've let the water sit for a minute, then I um go back over it one more time because dust particles can settle on. Hey Jen, what's it look like on leather? Do you have any of your wallets there? Oh, I do have. I think one. I'm. Like so, or, or your to, bands or something. I'm needing to create more. Um, Lori Lynn, she's got a link in her bio, and it's literally blue ivy marbling. It's phenomenal. Uh, thank you. Yeah, this right. gives you. I mean, this is a leather bookmark, but um, yeah, it's yeah, amazing. It an idea yeah. of how the marbling turns out. On there. And this is just. This is a darker one, but um, it's so pretty. I love it. Yeah, this is the clutches that I do. So I will have these available for sure this fall. Um, hopefully sooner. If I what can... color was that leather to begin with? Oh, just like natural. And then there's also the silk fans too. 
So, all right, I'm gonna keep going here. Let's nice, see, Jennifer. I, I had another plan. Oh yes, okay. About and yeah, you guys, they're, they are so soft, you would never know there's paint on them. You would, you, you just never know. It's the weirdest thing ever. It's awesome. I, I put them in a little um, fabric softener that just kind of helps make them extra soft. But I expected to feel, I mean, look at me, I'm covered in paint. So I'm, I'm, I expected to feel something. I don't want to say crunchy. That doesn't make sense. But, you know, something on the silk and you you feel nothing. It's awesome. Yeah, it's it's um, amazing because it, it doesn't, like, soak onto the scarf. It soaks into it's, it. It's really weird. It's awesome. Yeah. And uh, Laura says hello from Indiana. Hello. Joe Laura. says, I love this so much. It's so cute. Oh, thanks. Um, Jennifer said she's got the table runner of the pink flowers she just did. It's so beautiful. Oh, yes, yes, you did. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yes, she sent me some pretty pictures of it, too. Um, is it acrylic paint? Yes, artist quality yep. acrylics. Are they washable? They are hand washable. I don't recommend putting them in the washer or dryer because that's a little... You know, there's silk that could be a little rough on them, but um, mm -hmm. definitely hand wash. Yeah. So this is a little different for me doing it like this. So thank you for <laughs> jumping no, in. No problem. Story. I was watching you and I'm like, you've got almost a thousand people in here right now and you're trying to answer questions and do your stuff. So <laughs> thank you. No problem. That's awesome. Joe said, definitely going to have to get me a bandana. Yes, you should, because they're awesome in your hair. I have the, what, what's the one? Cherry Blossom? Yes. Is that the one? Yep. Oh, are you able to make a Cherry Blossom design? Allie just asked. Oh, yes. It's, it's yes, my favorite. Yeah, well, Tallery mm -hmm. is the one that gave me the idea. Where, and that <laughs> one's been like one of my most popular designs. <laughs> she said, oh, awesome. And it is. It's beautiful. Uh, Sophia, she's doing something called Ebrew. Thank Did you. I say that right? Ebru? Ebru. Yep. Wait. Ebru, Ebru. Okay. Ebru. I, I hear people say it both ways, but it's water marbling, painting on water. Uh, let's see here. Are you able to make a dog apple design? Um, you cannot do images with this art form. Because of the way the paints are moving on the water, it just doesn't work. Oh, I'm going to keep my music going here. Um, what's the ratio of acrylic to H2O? Um, it kind of, it varies because each paint has to be done individually. So in general, I'll do about one part paint to three parts water. Um, but you have to play with each one to get them to float just right. Um, Allie said, can you do the cherry blossom design on this live? Um, yeah, I think I could. <laughs> I will attempt and, uh, that. It, it's, it's so cute. It's so cute. Anyway, um, I might be a bit biased on that one. Um, <laughs> Lisa said, hello from Dublin, Ireland. I watch your lives when I'm back in Indiana. Oh, good. Well, hello. Um, are you able to make an apple design? No, apples will not work with this. They just, the paints move too much to actually look like an apple. Uh, purple wisteria is my favorite in bouquet design. Yeah. She does a wisteria and it's gorgeous. Yeah, wisteria was also your suggestion. And that's yeah, I'm, I'm a problem. That's <laughs> always been one of my most popular designs too. That one Pat, she uses silk. Yeah, that one takes me a long time. But it's so pretty. Wisteria, yeah. But yeah, because it's so detailed. What um what is artist quality? One, two, or three level? Um, that would be well, it kind of I think depends on what brand you're using. Um like a lot of the ones I use are one, um, but it's heavy body, if that helps. 
Yeah, like don't not 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 apple barrel from like Walmart, right? No, <laughs> no, definitely <laughs> not. Um, how deep is the water? Yeah. Oh, how deep? Um, it's about a half inch to three quarter inch. So it just has to be at least a half inch to um work well. A uh, scout said, um, I thought it was paper. It's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Um, let's see. Mel said, hi from South Africa. I'm fascinated with this process. Oh, hello. Thanks for joining us. Uh, can you get the paints at Michael? Um, you know what? You can get golden um, fluid acrylics from Michael's and those work well. Can you make a pole design? A what kind? Pole, P O L E. Oh, I'm not sure what that would be. Um, cat, it's silk. Hello from um, El Salvador. Hello. How did you learn how to do this? Um, I took a class from. And Oklahoma. Jennifer is fast. <laughs> I learned from a woman that was from <laughs> Turkey where this art form originated um, and practiced under her for a couple of years before I started my business. You are fast, Jennifer. And uh, Allison said, this is absolutely gorgeous. I am from Tampa, Florida. Oh, hello. Oh, she meant to say polar bear design, not pole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no images like that. Uh, the most I can do are circles, flowers, uh, vines, um, hearts. And, and there's star someone in here from Africa. Do you teach classes? Utah, Ireland. Oh, wow. Dang. Yes, I do have a course that I created that walks you through every step to get started. I break it all down and give all of my tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. I don't hold back at all. I share everything. Um, and so I have kits that um, are a great starter kit. And then, um, and I also will do one-on-one -on -one Zoom if somebody is interested in doing that. Oh, so we can't come live in your basement and do it, okay. <laughs> Well, no more um, basement. Now I'm in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Silent viewer from Belgium says hi. South Africa. Um, Jen says loving these orange flowers. Thank you. Yeah, this gives me Florida feeling. Mm -hmm. And a uh, new subscriber. Oh, awesome. Thank you. New Mexico. We're getting from all over the place. I found going on in the afternoons, I can really hit a lot of areas that we don't hit as much in the evenings. Right. Is it just tap water? Um, well, mine is filtered. Um, so it's filtered water mixed with carrageenan. Ooh, that would be cool. Um, someone wants to know uh, from the UK if you do wallpaper. I don't, but someone you know what I really, Georgia. what I want to do is um, I want to turn some of my designs into digital prints so that it could be put onto something like wallpaper. So that's oh, one of my next steps. That would be cool. Where it could be okay, put on all different kinds of things. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a whole button from Nepal, Georgia, Philippines, Netherlands, Norway, Houston, um, Louisiana, uh, Scotland, San Diego, all of a sudden. Oh my goodness, all over. Okay, it's going to take me one second here to get my bandana hooked up to my PVC pipe so I can lay it down. You know, if you didn't make the pattern of the flower, it would look like peaches. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, that was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It probably would. Digital prints is a great idea. Um, That's something that I'm wanting to dive into real soon here. If anybody has <laughs> tips on that, I would love to know to make the process faster. Right? Because I um, have no photography. Uh, JB says, 
uh, to add Navy, please. Um, let's see. Someone from Alaska, Who Singapore, Texas. Um, I'm not sure. JB? Yeah, Jen, is she our, one of our moderators? Probably. Um, but I'm, but I'm, I'm scrolling up. Yes. Hi, Jenny. Texas, Saskatchewan, North Carolina, um, H-Town. <laughs> That's lovely. Um, Tanya said, uh, Malaysia, Bahamas. Good grief. <laughs> Albania, Malaysia, Michigan, <laughs> South Africa. <laughs> this is so relaxing to watch. Australia, beautiful colors and design. <laughs> is the lady in the little square your real life mama? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're just going to say yes. Um, my good friend that I met <laughs> through TikTok. Yep. We're both artists, and she does stuff I don't do, and I do stuff she doesn't do. Yeah. Your so, work is amazing, though. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have a show coming up on the 4th of July, and it's been a really long time, so I've been busting my butt with my tents and everything else. So. Oh, my goodness. That's awesome. You're in Colorado. Um, what part? Denver? I'm in Col I'm in Colorado Springs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, you used to do events a lot, right? And um, I did with my drawings, but people want strange things, so I stopped doing that and do more commission work. And then I've been working making shot skis lately, so that's what I'm doing because they have not hit here. Oh, awesome. All right, we've got, and uh, JB said, it's me. And uh, there's Greenland, Hi, Australia, Arizona, Greece, Greenland. Goodness. Awesome. Um, do you ever show how to mix the paints and does temperature matter? In my basement, it's very cool. Is it? Cool is good. Cool works okay. well. I used to be in a basement. That was cool. Um, but yes, temperature does matter. It can't be too hot or uh, freezing cold. I've tried it in every kind of weather. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we've got, let's see, Atlanta, Greece, Hungary, Lindo, uh, Puerto Rico, Trinidad, Tobago. Um, what kind of light do you use? What kind of light? Mm -hmm. Hmm. I do have studio lights. That would a rug absorb too much paint or hold a pattern? Uh, I don't think I've never seen anybody do a rug, so I don't think it would work. Maybe. Yeah. Um, and Mecca, I make a whole lot of things. Um, follow me and I've got all kinds of stuff. I draw paint, weld, sculpt that I do a bit of everything. Um, let's see. Amazing. Spain, Seattle. Oh, that's so pretty, Jen. Thank you. Those are great colors. Sweden, Canada, Germany, or wait, Germania? Germ I, Long Island, Puerto Rico, and Georgia lives in Georgia. Sweden, Scotland, Texas, South Africa, Sweden, Dominican Republic, Buffalo, New York, Sweden. Oh, that's great. <laughs> it looks like Hubba Bubba colors. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, I'm going to try to open this up somewhat so you can see it. So like oh, I said, we're gonna have about 20 bandanas or so that'll be listed by tomorrow. All one of a kind and unique. But all unique, yep. Um, it, why is the water pink and red underneath? It's just where some like thicker paints have fallen, um, but it doesn't affect what's on top. Um, Allison said you should put a pin in a map for every country that's visited your lives. Oh, I know. I, I wish so bad I could do that. Cause that's a lot of pins. Yes. We've been all around the world. <laughs> that looks really tropical. Yeah. That's what I was going for. So good. And it, that will be available on my site tomorrow. But if there's anything that you see that you're interested in, you can always message me. Okay. Hi, I'm from the UK. First time watching. Hey, hello. Glad you found me. Why and, is um, pink? That's just yes. from previous paints. Um, 
that you can see this is the surface is clean and that's all I'm concerned about. So that you ship no, you ship worldwide, right? Yes, I do. Sure do. Now your husband builds your trays, right? Uh yeah, we both or the big did. one in the basement that we've seen then? Yes, we both did. Yeah, you can see this is my long one underneath here. This is what I do the oh. long scarves in. And then I've got a smaller one. And then I can do even smaller ones for some of the smaller pieces, like the leather. Is it just um is it like is it just wood that's like sealed or um this wood was originally just natural wood um, that I painted and sealed myself, and I use marine glue. Oh, that makes um, sense. Yeah. Do you do shoes? I have never done shoes, but it's funny you ask because um, I heard that there are some reasonably priced ones at Walmart yeah. that I was going to go try to get today. If it works out, I'm going to try it on our live tomorrow night. I think canvas shoes would work and it'd be awesome. Yeah, I'm going to try mm -hmm. it. So yeah. I'm being modest. <laughs> She's being modest. Yeah, she does the, do a lot of the building. I was just curious if it was painted or how it was sealed, if you've got resin over it or, you know. Yeah, I like um, paint and then polyurethane. And, they, and, you're, and you're in the garage. Your garage is a lot tidier than my garage <laughs> well it turned into a studio so it just um you know we put up um this like shiplap looking stuff on the walls and it looks great try to make it feel like an actual room it did not i did not know it was your garage yeah. uh cindy says sitting here with a broken foot since i can't work in the garden i may as well learn something oh broken foot is not fun Name of the website is Blue Ivy Marbling. Yep. She does need a she shed, but it looks like she's got a she garage. So Yeah, it's actually a brand new garage, so it feels really nice and clean. But is Mine would if I'd clean it. <laughs> <laughs> My wife would agree. She's sitting over here. <laughs> yeah. I know. I wouldn't have wanted to do this in my old garage at all. But... This I don't mind. This is the cherry bean, cherry blossom, cherry bean. What the hell? Um, hey, <laughs> JB. <laughs> yes, you know, cher gonna... cherry, the cherry bean design, because that makes the perfect cherry sense. Bean. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I have to just remember which order I like to go in. I think I know. I'll probably make big ones. We'll see how they open up. I, I just, I want to, um, I want to put my hand in it. <laughs> you know, I, I just want to want a deep one and somebody get in. I don't I know. know. So many people have asked me, have you ever like dunked any part of your body in there? <laughs> but wouldn't that be, it would be a really cool, um, like Halloween body paint. See? Yeah. Well, I know um, there's somebody out there that does like has people like dip their arm at like concerts, uh, but I don't know like what kind of paint they use and right. What's in yeah, but acrylics paint. wouldn't hurt you, would it? That's no, because I use acrylics. I've got it all over yeah. me. Oh, Jenny, thank you for answering questions too. Yeah, everybody's all over it. We got this. That's awesome. This is making we're not answering so them. We're not answering them correctly, but we're answering. Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, you're doing a great job. It's not that complicated. What other kind of designs do you do? Like butterfly, rainbow, Halloween, like pumpkins? You know, I haven't really tried pumpkins, but it's mostly abstract designs. A lot of floral and then um if you look at the website, you could see all different kinds of designs. Um, it's kind of hard to describe um, because it's, it's swirly. It's yeah, awesome. Swirly and like back and forth with rakes and cones. And so it's just all different kinds of designs. 
Okay. If I'm not sure what, which one they meant. Oh, um, did you paint the green one in the background? The no. little one is on top paper, or the little one on top is paper. Oh, yeah, up on the shelf there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how I started. That's with the traditional Ebru soil based paints um, with the Ebru brushes. Yeah, the one in the frame. Yeah. Yeah, that's paper. I practiced on paper for years before I switched over to silk and um leather and creating my business you know your nails are kind of a white color you could dip them in there and then put a clear coat over that <laughs> well, that's true <laughs> that would be cool <laughs> not a bad idea okay normally i will go crazy with the flowers but that would take me a while here so Trying not to Becky, do too Becky many. said she loves these colors. Oh, thank Me too. You. Thanks. All right. It's a little cooler here today than normal for June. What's Illinois? Like Is that right? What'd you say? Are you in Illinois? Not anymore. We oh. moved. We Where moved are you? To Boise. Oh, you're in Idaho. Yes. Nice. Yeah. So what was it cooler today? What temperature is it then if it's cooler? Yeah. Well, middle 70s. Oh, that's beautiful though. Yes. Oh, it's so nice. It's just not normal for June. We are just getting rained on, like dumped on every day. And Colorado is not used to this much moisture. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Today's been really nice, but I'm sure there's clouds coming up over the mountains. I thought the flowers are looking pretty, though. Um, no, they're drowning. <laughs> oh, no, are they really? Uh-oh. Yeah. It's cold here in Montana, 59 degrees. 59 oh my goodness i know isn't that crazy though for june middle of june she does have a beautiful demeanor i know oh that's very sweet of you she's very sweet, You're sweet. will you l list these actual pieces yes yep i sure will Jack, I, I assume that's what you meant um and 96 in houston 79 in nashville my wife just said four o'clock is here is when it's supposed to uh, rain. <laughs> oh, is it? Yeah. We're getting unusual rain here, too. Billings, Montana, 76. Uh, Jennifer said, I'm not sweet, I'm salty. <laughs> <laughs> we like that, too. 82 in South Carolina. It's all over the place, huh? Mm -hmm. I have to be careful not to bump my tray. Oh, I just realized why it seemed quiet. My music stopped. Tennessee is 79. Hot in Texas, over 100. Blech, no, thank you. Oh, my God. 92 in Florida. Your husband sounds different, looks different, too. <laughs> <laughs> and I am not George Clooney, either. Monday night, he was Mr. Rogers. <laughs> oh, did he wear a button-up sweater? I, somebody asked a question. I don't even remember what it was. I don't know. I tease my wife about being Mr. Rogers. She comes home from work in one hoodie and changes into another hoodie <laughs> to just do regular stuff. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's see, 85 in Virginia, Maryland, we're in a drought when it's normally raining a lot. Well, apparently you sent it here to Colorado. 86 mm. in Missouri, 30 degrees in Netherlands, in Fahrenheit, I don't know. Oh, that That's mathy stuff, I don't do that. Um, yeah. When I go live with you, I'm going to only show my arms in a white shirt. <laughs> um, 
Lynn says, Colorado is my home state. I'd like to go back and visit. I do miss, do not miss the snow. I don't either in the summer. Oh, um, let's yeah. see here. Seattle is 63. Heat advisories in Texas right now, keeping pets and children hydrated. Oh, boy. Yeah, we do that, too. And even, even the squirrels and birds, I put out buckets of water. Do you really? Mm hmm Because it just gets so hot. Yep. Uh, 59 degrees in Canada. 30 around, 30 is around mid-90s. Thank you. Arkansas is 80s. Um, hello, I'm watching from Switzerland. Oh, hello. Okay, so we are good with this one. It's I'm so gonna pretty. Get, gonna get my bandana hooked up here. It's 73 in Michigan. Oh, now that's perfect. Mm -hmm. 79 and raining in Georgia. Hmm. Okay. 70 in New Jersey. And Joanna says, I am from and didn't put the rest. Uh -oh. um, my son says it's about 100 degrees here in Raleigh, uh, North Carolina, 69 in Pittsburgh. What's the size of this bandana? It is 21 by 21 inches. And um, it's the size of just a regular cotton bandana. But these are 100% silk. And they're phenomenal to roll up and put in your hair. That's I have this size, and I have the long scarf, too. It's awesome. Aw, you're so sweet. Yeah, you can, what, tie it on your purse or your backpack, around your head or in your ponytail. Um, they're super cute. Jennifer, um, that's helping moderate. Yeah, she's on here. She um, did a lovely like braided bun with the bandana through it. That Aww. looks so cute. Oh, you're right. I did forget to say love Dana in Arkansas. <laughs> oh, Dana. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Yes. I like, I'm just like paying attention to what I'm doing. Dana is my childhood friend, best friend. What we go back to what around fourth grade or so? Yes, Life. I forgot she was in Arkansas. Live. Oh, love Dana. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. All right. Um, she, Dane, uh, Jennifer said, go live tomorrow and I'll join with a scarf in my hair. Oh, okay. Yeah, that would be great. Oh, that's that's great. Magic Dream said, boho in the belt loops of your jeans or even on a hat. Yes. Yep. That's great. And Dana said, fifth grade. Hello fifth from grade. Peru. Okay. I was close. She has the better memory. <clears throat> what are you going to do with the one you're working on? Uh, well, this one is going to be for sale. I mean, it is. If somebody's interested in this particular one, you can message me, blueivymarbling at gmail.com. Uh, Michelle said, beautiful. I love that one. Thank you. I know. Isn't it pretty? It's so pretty. I love yeah, it. So I'm going to have um, at least 20 bandanas that will be listed tomorrow. You're knocking through these fast. Yeah, I've been working hard. <laughs> hey, love from South Africa. Hello. It's Hello. gorgeous. So I just let these soak for a little bit and then hang them to air dry. Love the colors. Are they all different prices? No, they are all 28. For the bandana size, 21 by 21, and then the long scarves like you see in the back, those are 65. What are you rinsing it in? Uh, just um, plain filtered water. And uh, what kind of paint are you using? And can you do a purple and green one? 
I could do purple and green, yes. And um, it's artist quality acrylics. So you need the little bit more expensive acrylics. Um, there's also some brands that have already made paints like Jacquard, those work well. But Hello I from Rosebud, Oregon, newbie here. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say I hand mix um, all of my paints because I just like how the heavy body paints turn out. And you are correct. There's no such thing as working hard when you love your job. <laughs> That's true. And I got to say, I do really enjoy what I do. I'd like to buy the one you just made, Joanne okay. Kozlowski said. All right. If you just message me, blueivymarbling at gmail.com and just say cherry blossom on the live and I'll know which one you want. Um, let's and she see. and she's on it, by the way. If you message her, she is I, on it. I try, anyways. Did I say I was gonna do? <laughs> what did I colors did I just say we do? Purple and green. Green and purple. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And then there's another request for pink, black, silver would be very pretty. All right. I don't know if I'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> I would be willing to bet one of the three hundred of us in here might. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Um, she said it would have to be gray. Metallics don't work. That was Jennifer. Oh, yes. She is correct. And tell have you ever done have you ever done like neon like glow in the dark paint? Yeah, they don't stick to They don't work the either. Yeah, no, and I've not seen that done on paper either. Metallics can be done on paper, but mm -hmm. I have not seen any sort of neon paints even on paper. Jennifer said, I pay attention. <laughs> yeah, she does. She's really good about the details. I never caught you live during the day. Yeah, um. I, well, I haven't done it too many times, but uh, Tallery jumping on here with me is making it a lot easier than when I've tried it right. all by myself. Yeah, I, I figured it's kind of hard to work and read and stuff. I mean, unless you're in my live, if you're in one of my lives, there's like two people and it's really not that hard. Um, <laughs> um, Jennifer said, I have stupid memory for things like this. I'm a sponge. Yeah. Anything artsy, I kind of, yeah, it just soaks up. I don't have to work real hard on it. But normal things that I'm supposed to remember, forget it. Yeah. No, it's not happening. I try, but it just doesn't, I don't know. It doesn't mm -hmm. work the same as it used to. No, it's things are misfiring. <laughs> the <older laughs> <I guess. laughs> All right. I was just creating some new colors for the fall too that I'm kind of excited about. Ooh. More earthy looking. Mm hmm Okay. Let's see. I got to think about what design to do on this. I haven't done the rakes or anything. I could do those. <laughs> Michelle just said, like use, you use some to... of your rakes. What's that? <laughs> Michelle said, use some of your rakes. Okay. I'll do that. And if you have to go, don't feel like you have to stay on. Oh, you know what? I'm waiting for, I've been painting my shutters um, in the garage. I built new shutters. And so um, I'm waiting for paint to dry. So I'll let you know if I have to run. Okay. It's kind of like letting, watching grass grow, you know? <laughs> make a bouquet, a make a bouquet with rakes. Bouquet? Mm-hmm. Okay. I can do that. I'm trying to think if I want to do just one more color, maybe a dab of white. Um, let's see, Sarah said, I don't think it's so much as forgetting as I think if the brain isn't, it's not as important as something else, maybe. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's true. It's beautiful. It looks like a big piece of resin with your designs. Yeah. White really likes to shoot open. It's like one of those super powerful colors. You know, it's interesting. You can do this with nail polish too. 
Yes. Four nail designs. Yeah, it's kind of fun on water, but um, it's just super messy. Well, I mean, like I what you're doing isn't. I've not tried <laughs> it on nails. It looks like lily pads. Yeah, I'm liking this color combination. Yeah, it's good. Okay, let's see. I feel like it's been a while since I've done the bouquet design. All right, this this design right here, the viewer's named Scallops. <laughs> yep, it's so pretty. I don't stop there too often. I should do some. <laughs> it's. I think it's hard to stop when you it get is, doing this. Exactly. <laughs> Keep going. Okay, so that one I just call like the sideways zigzag. This one is the comb or nonpareil design. <laughs> Jennifer said it's like theater curtains. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and then this big old double rake here. This makes the bouquet or peacock design. Um, Doris from North Carolina, love this one you're doing right now. Thank you. I like it when she posts the one that says this is a mess and she's just wrong. Because <laughs> they're never a mess. They're always beautiful. <laughs> I have to get back into posting more. I got burned out on making videos for a while. I've been doing the same thing. Really? It just mm -hmm. it takes a lot out of you. It does. And instead of doing my art, I just end up posting dumb stuff because I do weird stuff. Like <laughs> last night I fell off of an electric scooter. <laughs> oh no. That's what I put up instead of anything I'm doing. <laughs> Because that gets way more views than anything I do with my right, hands. So. Exactly. Oh, that's so funny. I'll have to go look. It's ridiculous. Your videos are funny. Okay. I, I'm ready to... Dip it. Up. Um, this one will be available, too. If anybody's interested, you can email me to snag this one. Or I'll have it... A whole bunch of new ones listed tomorrow. And I think we'll do first one. time feel like crying. This is so beautiful. Aww. What about, have you ever done fireworks? Um, kind of like with when I do the spray bottle technique, you know, where it looks mm -hmm. like um, like Starry Night. I've kind of made that yeah. look. Okay. Kind of like fireworks. Um. Yeah. Red. Uh. She said Fourth of July, red, white, and blue. Lynn said very therapeutic and peaceful. Uh. Do you design your scarves? I don't. But is there a way to do that? There's fabric. There's know. fabric pens. I would imagine you could. I did start adding my own tags with my logo on them. That's good. Uh, Jennifer said spray bottle was the best viewer suggestion. Yes. Wasn't um, no, it? Jennifer. No, Jennifer. Um, cherry blossoms was that was mine. <laughs> now we're going to have an argument. <laughs> yeah, the spray bottle technique. I, I love how those turn out. Um, can you buy the tags with your name and signature? Oh, okay. Yeah, I have the tags. You know what? It's, I just haven't figured out an easy way to, um, add the tags cause I hand sew them on. Um, mm -hmm. so if anybody has a suggestion of how to easily attach tags, I would love to know. Couldn't you get one of those doohickeys they use at a retail store? Like the... Well, it's like a fabric, like a silk tag that I add, yeah. not just like a hanging one. Hmm. Oh, 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 I know what you mean. I, like, I don't know what you mean. I freaking have one. Um, Iron-on tags. Um, how much are these? Um, got that answered already. Um, Zodiac colors would be cool. Fabric glue. 
Yeah, would fabric glue hold up if it's being washed over and over again, I wonder? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, that's why I just had a fear like if you ironed it on or glued it on, would it end up coming off? People still iron? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I iron my scarves because I like to make them nice and smooth before I ship them out. Well, no, that makes sense, but I don't even own an iron anymore. It's terrible. Really? I, we don't iron very much. The fluff on the dryer works really well. So. I love the iron. <laughs> no, no, it's not stiff. It is. They are not. They are anything but stiff. They are the softest thing you've ever felt, and you would not know there's paint on them. It's a, it's an insane thing. I thought you'd be able to feel it, and you don't. Not at all. And they do actually get even softer over time. Mm -hmm. You know, but just the oils from your skin um, really soften them up even more. So uh, Sarah still irons. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I started it, didn't I? I even steamed my shirts. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here's this one. Oh, that's gorgeous. That's the peacock. Her bouquet design. This, yeah. People that's really beautiful. Love this design. This is a traditional Ebru design that goes back, way back. What do you wash them with? Um, just hand washed with um, a little wool light or just soft fabric or detergent. All right, Jen. Uh, my phone's at 12%. Oh, okay. As oh. much as I don't want to go. Nice. Um, I feel like I feel like Jennifer and a couple other people have got this handled. Yes, yes, but, um, yes. You're if awesome. You, if Thank you need you to so go... Much. If you need to do this again, you you have my information. Um, shoot me a message. Yeah. I'll jump on with you, okay? All right. Awesome. Thank you. You're See welcome. You Love you guys. Bye. All right. Love you. Thanks. Uh, leaving. Yes. If you can. <laughs> yeah. I know. I can't get out. Okay. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay. I'm going to do one more. We've been on for quite a while now. So keep my music going. Jenny and Jennifer, thank you so much for helping me out. You guys are awesome. Okay, you guys are great. Thank you for helping me. So I'm going to do one more here. I think I've been on for like over an hour. So, all right. Going to just get this cleaned up. And you can always pink, black, and gray. Oh, I could do that. That sounds good. Pink, black, and gray. I'll do that for my last one here. Trey's getting a little bit darker as I go. So there's still just a little bit on there. So I'm going to go over this one more time. What kind of paints do I use? Artist quality acrylics. So I use a lot of heavy body um, and I prepare my own paints. Let's see, you don't see the interact button? Yeah, I'll have to figure that out. Uh, how deep is the water? It's about a half inch deep right now. And that's just about all you need to be able to marble. Just enough so that the paints will float on top. So one more should do us good here. We are totally clean now, so I'm ready to move on. All right, so somebody suggested pink, black, and gray, so I'm gonna go for it. And I haven't done just like a simple squirrel this afternoon, so I think that's what I'll probably do. Let's 
So anybody that's just joining us, we're painting on water. These are um, bandana size silks. It's 100% silk. And they are great for tying in your hair, uh, wearing like as a bracelet or um, tying on your wrist. Um, the website is blueivymarbling.com and you can always message me with any questions you have, blueivymarbling at gmail.com. Yes, yep, Chrissy, tie them on your purse or your backpack, ponytail or um, as a headband. You can request colors and design. And also I have a course and starter kits. I also do one-on-one -on -one Zoom um, for anybody that's wanting to learn. So since I use heavy body paints, um, I have to mix them up quite a bit because they tend to settle. But I just, I love the richness of the heavy body paints. Oh, thanks, Michelle. Beautiful colors. Yeah, somebody on here asked if I would do black, pink, and gray. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I would need a really big a really really big tray for duvet covers um but i was mentioning earlier i really want to get into digital prints of my designs so that it, they can be put on all kinds of different things so if anybody has any suggestions for getting into um, digital prints i would love any advice you have I don't really know much about photography. Oh, let's see, that paint I don't want to do. So we're just going to go with a little light gray. Right. Some of my paints, when they open up really big, I'll use a dropper to just try to keep it a little more contained because like gray is a really strong, like powerful color and I don't want to overdo it. And that's what I, in my course um, that I created, I give a whole lot of like the little tips that I've learned over the years. I've been doing this for about 11 years now. Um, started my business back in 2015 and so I've had a lot of experience with this art form. A lot of teaching it um, and providing experiences in different settings. So I used to do a whole lot of in-person events and then uh, then back in 2000, I transitioned to mostly online. So yeah, do you hear a rooster in the background? You sure do. Yes, our neighbors have roosters. Yeah, I thought that they would drive me insane, but actually they're not too bad. I can actually tolerate them. So, okay, I'm just gonna get my bandana hooked up here. I've got PVC pipe that I use um, to lay the scarves down by myself. So I'm just gonna hook them up. You can enjoy uh, the neighbor's roosters <laughs> in the meantime. 
They've also got two little goats that are actually pretty cute. We live in an area that's very eclectic. <laughs> See, you can hear them. Okay, so that somebody asked on here if I would do black, pink, and gray. And I hadn't done just a simple swirl design this afternoon, so I thought I'd show you that. So tomorrow I will have, um, I'll have at least 20 bandanas that'll get listed on my site. Um, they're all one of a kind, um, completely unique. So you'll see those. Um, I'm just kind of working a lot. Oh, you wanna see purple and black? Yes, th those are pretty together too. I feel like I did one of those. I might have purple and black that I'll list on the site, but um, I uh, will we'll definitely be on tomorrow um, evening at seven central. And if I'm able to, I'll probably jump on in the afternoon again doing big scarves. So big scarves are fun. It's like, it's just such a huge tray filled and it's just kind of has a very dramatic effect. You like the deep color? Yeah, it's actually a deep um, pink, but it can kind of look a little reddish, which I like because red is a super hard color. Uh, yes, I've done a lot of rainbows. So this is my last one for this afternoon. I know I've been on for at least an hour. Um, so I'm gonna have to jump off after this one. Gotta see my daughter off to camp. So, going to go make sure that she's all ready to go. But I'm doing my best to try to jump on more just as I'm creating throughout the day. Um, I just enjoy sharing the process. see it so then I just give it a rinse I'll let it soak for a little bit rinsing it it's instantly set when it um, touches the water so I just give it a little rinse to get any excess off of it this is just filtered water and then I'll just let it soak for a little bit and then hang it to air dry iron it smooth it out and then it's ready to be worn gorgeous beautiful thank you so much so I'll try to show this to you again even after being rinsed it doesn't really change so that gives you an idea there i'll just let it soak for a bit Well, thanks for joining me this afternoon. Thank you, everybody. Yes, they are artist quality acrylic paints, Debbie. Oh, you ordered a bandana, Ashley. Awesome. Thank you so much. Yep, I'll get that out to you real soon. Um, love your work. What's in the tray? The, it's um, water that's mixed with carrageenan. That's what thickens it up. And that's what makes the paints float on top of the water. So, oh, thank you, Mary Jane. You have a great day too. Oh, someone wants to know how to order. Thank you for telling me that. Um, if you go to blueivymarbling.com, um, I have all kinds of bandanas and scarves already made. And then you can also go on there to um, order custom if you want. So, oh, it's afternoon there. Oh. Oh my goodness, five o'clock in the morning in the Philippines. Wow, yes, the link is in the bio. Thank you. 
Oh yeah. Um, her camp is, this is kind of a different kind of camp, Jennifer. It's like an experiential kind of growing training kind of camp. It's kind of crazy. You go through all different kinds of experiences that, um, that just kind of like emotionally like challenge you and grow you and so yeah it's going to be a fun experience for her so i'm excited so can i do pink purple and blue actually i just finished my last one for the afternoon so yes thank you missy um so i'm gonna have to jump off but i'll be back i'm hoping tomorrow afternoon definitely tomorrow evening with my husband at seven central so Jennifer and Jenny, thank you so much for um, for answering and helping me so much. Name of the green and lavender you made today. Um, if you just message me at blueivymarbling at gmail.com um, and then just tell me which one you're wondering about because I don't have a, I think that was the bouquet one where I did all of the raking and combing. Um, uh, thank you for the roses, Jennifer. Yeah, if you just uh, message me, then I can make sure that you can um, get that one. So, all right. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you so much. Everybody, you have a, re a great rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks, everybody.